entrance cemetery, you have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us into a priest for our God. Good morning. Good morning's Mass has been offered for us and our families, and in particular, Beverly Ruth of Fry. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You will send to you the front right arm, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to the sea for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in your providence raised up of St. Mark the fifth in your church, that the faith might be supported and more fitting worship be offered to you, grant for his intersection that we may participate in your mystery with lovely faith and fruitful charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those among you who are God-fearing, to, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus. As it is written in the second Psalm, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron hand. You shall shatter them like an earthen vessel. This and now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him. With trembling, rejoice. This is my son. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one come to the Father except through me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. 
You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the church gives us an optional to celebrate the memorial of St. Herodotus. He was born in a poor family in January 17, 1504, at Portugal, Italy. His name at birth was Antonio Grisliari. Up until 14 years old, he worked as a shepherd to take care of the sheep and encountered two Dominican monks who recognized his intelligence and virtue. He then joined the Dominicans and became a Dominican priest at least 24 years old. Becoming a Dominican priest, he also taught philosophy and theology for 60 years. He was known for his penance, his long hours of prayer and fasting, and also his holiness in his speaking. On January 7, 1566, he was elected to become the Pope and took the name Pius the Fifth. Becoming the Pope, he immediately made a big change, which got rid of any extra luxury luxury things. He gave to the poor the money which was usually invested in those luxury things. He personally cared for washing the feet of the poor, consoling those near them, and tending the lepers and the sickness also. He spent long hours before the Blessed Sacrament, even though he has many work to do every day. His pontificate was dedicated to apply the reform of the Council of Change, raise the standard of morality, reform the clergy, and support the foreign mission. During his time as a Pope, the Catechism of the Council of Change was also completed. He revised the Roman Breviary and Missal, which remained in use until the reform of Vatican II. Then he also encountered with two massive enemy forces. The first one was the Protestant heretics and the spread of their doctrines in the West. The other was the Turkish armies who were advancing from the East. He encouraged everyone to oppose the Protestant by education, preachings, and giving strong support to the newly Society of Jesus. On May 1st, 1572, he passed away with a painful disease. When he passed away, he also said, O Lord, increase my suffering and my patience. Then in 1672, he was enshrined at Santa Maria Maggiore in Rome and was beatified by Clement X. In 1712, he was canonized to become the saint by Clement XI. As we celebrate his memorial today, may we also imitate him in making our life in prayer, fasting, holiness, and witnesses for the word of God in Catholic teaching. Now let us offer our prayer and petition to God, our Almighty Father. For Pope Francis and our bishops, may the intercession of Pope St. Pius V help guide them in their pastoral decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For our civic leaders, 
May God bless them in their service to their community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who feel lost or abandoned, may they be comforted by the warmth of the Lord's abiding presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our diocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for the deceased whose names are written on our Easter memorial board, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us now pause to add our own intentions and silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Prayer for protection and healing from coronavirus. Lord Jesus, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Give those who are sick with the virus, may they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Allow the vaccine to be successful in helping the spread of the virus. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Grant us peace in this time of uncertainty and challenge. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus. For you are our loving and healing Our Lady of Ronson, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier. St. Robbins and St. Rosalie, pray for us. Loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our diocese have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Monsa in times of war, disaster, and pandemic. We come to you, Father, with Mary of our heart, and ask you to help us in the battle of the day against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build the community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may all their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may make peace and serve by our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us a perseverance to be a voice for life and give dignity in our community. We ask this in Christ's name. Our Lady of Mount Rock, peace and help us. Mother of heaven, we will pray for us that we may be able to Bless this time, you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and book of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed by you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and book of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Praise my brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice of your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory, in honor of blessed Saint Pius and Peace, a means to our eternal salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and trust our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you make all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, 
he stretched out his hands as he ruled his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with what voice we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, heaven and earth are the Lord your glory, for the Lord your Christ, and so speak from the name of the Lord, for the Lord your Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the power of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave this to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sarkos was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave this his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of God until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have come us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the perfecting of the body and blood of Christ we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brother and sister, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth and as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe for all Israel, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, He who takes away the sins of the world. Bless this idol called the Supper of the Lamb. Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Hallelujah. Let us pray. May the sacraments we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity, which with blessed Saint Isaac Fick, burn ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael, your angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God reveal you in only Christ and with the of the heavenly hosts. By the power of God, 